Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So Brandon's here for a quick couple minutes. He's busy with his car. As always. He's coming to rescue me. As um, always. <laughs> all right, so a 32 millimeter, is that an inch and a half? Because I have large, I, I found them. I found the fucking things. No idea what it I spent like to. 10, I had to cut out 10 minutes of video of me looking for those. They're one inch drive. I know. We have the adapter, remember? But no, I, I think it's one and a half. You're the engineer, not me. <sighs> don't ask me. <laughs> no, don't ask me. Don't ask me. I'm an engineer, but I don't know basic metric to standard conversion. One and a quarter, probably too small. You can't even read the fucking socket unless it's out of the bag. Do you have an impact adapter? Yeah. Yes. Remember we used it for the trailer. I don't remember. Oh my god. Down. One of my coworkers likes that phrase. <laughs> What's the schedule? I don't know, I slept. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fine, we'll try all three of them. These fucking things are huge, man. Fucking. Probably gonna have to take the wheel uh, off for this. Uh, take the wheel off. Venture, unless those fit in there. I'd say that's close enough. That's close One enough. and a quarter. It's close enough for what we're doing. Okay. That's not for government work. <laughs> government work, you might as well just fucking throw it in a river and ride it off as a loss. I'm not a government worker. Uh, okay, I'm trying to remember. We had to do one inch to three quarter and three quarter to one half. Remember? No. How do you not remember this? I don't remember this. You don't remember doing See, this for the trailer. This, this might be an issue, though. It's an axle nut. It's not. <sighs> Come on. Do you understand? I do. I do. Let's try. Yes, I do. I do. Let's try. Let's try. I don't know what else to do, so. I mean, we could try the 32, but I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to try this. That's why you were my co-driver. Okay, girl. question. Yo. Am I allowed to reuse this nut? Because the fuckers didn't, it's not a castle it nut. And it doesn't have any, what the fuck? It doesn't fuck? have any locking mechanism mm, at all. These might be like a prevailing torque or something. Which means that it's now ruined? Possibly. God damn it. You gotta it. look, I, I don't, that's weird. I'll that's have weird. to, I'll, I'll call and ask the Porsche people then. On some of them they have a, um. They're supposed to be a crown a, with what, a locking pin. Well some of them don't even have that. What they have is their, they have like a thin wall that kind of shoots out. Mm. And then on the, uh, on the actual, actual. Yeah, the actual axle mm. itself, it has like a keyway, and then you yeah, uh, yeah, 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 take yeah, and yeah. divot it in. I think the FRS is like that. But that doesn't but this, is, this, Yeah, this will fall <laughs> off in the middle of a race the way I see it. Like, I mean, I guess it lasted, you know, 70,000 miles, yeah, but... I was saying, but it might have been a, uh, I don't know. Fluke, or it's aftermarket, somebody fixed or, it. Or it's, like I said, it's like a lock nut. You know, right, some of them are yeah, like yeah, a triangle yeah. shape. They have a little nipple in them that, yeah. Who knows? I really need to buy one of those. Can you get me a price? Yeah, I can. I mean, I, I shouldn't really buy it because I don't have the money to buy it, but I need it, you know? This is like a need, not necessarily a want. <laughs> like... Yeah, someone's been in there with anti-seize. That's what that is. Anti-seize? Wouldn't that you want to use Loctite? I mean, it is anti-seize. It's, it's like exhaust anti-seize, like for... This is the shit you use on O2 mm -hmm. sensors. Don't ask me. This is Porsche. I'm not Porsche asking shit. you. I'm telling. I'm I'm like domestic or Japanese. Yeah, I'll probably. Not, it's probably worth. This. It's probably worth us not dying to get two new nuts, even if they're ten or twenty bucks a piece, right? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, eh. it's like, do I want to die or do I want to spend twenty dollars on an axle nut that's got seventy thousand miles on it? Gotta die sometime. Yeah, I tried to put the car on the ground and it started tilting forward and no, oh. I could not get enough weight on the tire to use the breaker bar. Granted, with how much torque you had to use, I don't think a breaker yeah, bar would have worked. Well, the question is, how are we going to get it back to torque? I guess we have to put the transmission in so we have weight on the tires. You know what I'm well, saying? Oh my God. That's what I always do. Oh my God. On oh. an axle? Yes. 
Okay. So sorry for that. James decided to say some choice words that are not PC. <laughs> God. Please, God, let that wheel be right. Probably too late to return them now. What was your concern? Oh, thank God. The hub centering. Oh. Oh, man, that's... Look how small the wheel is. Yeah. Is it wider than the OEM? I thought I got eight. Where's it? So, yeah, we have to fix that. So what they said is just smooth it out so it doesn't propagate. Right. But... Why did, why did that do that? Because UPS is a bunch of fucktards. And Braid didn't even bubble wrap the fucking things to go across the ocean, so... Fucking cocksuckers. But just, just imagine a tire, like a, basically a truck tire full of like treads in this car. I mean, it's gonna be sick. It's Scary. gonna be beautiful. Let's, let's, let's take a gander at this. 16 verse 15. Yeah. What about width? How, what about fat? Because my, my biggest concern is the tire hitting something it shouldn't. I, th I thought, I yeah, it okay. It's narrower than the OEM. Good. Good. It's so not we won't have. Than there. It's not narrower. Yeah, the same spec. Well, they, the tires they put on it were too big. Correct. Is what I'm saying. Oh, we'll be, we'll be fine. Good. Okay. Good. So, yeah. Okay. So, to get the axle out, I just hit it with a hammer, and it should fall out and go to the trash, right? I mean, well, I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you're... Your best bet is to use that nut that we just took off and hit that, so that way it doesn't mushroom out. Oh, we're using that. Never mind. Yep. Hey. Fuck. It's coming out. Oh, there's a big ass fucking. Hey. Damn. Hey. Oh, look here. That's what locks it. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to get a new one of these, which is probably gonna be expensive because it's some kind of spring that's fucked up now. Oh, oh, well, yeah, that's nice. No, it's not. That's the coating. Oh. Well, I definitely that's just definitely need a new one then, huh? Here, where's up, those extensions? Wrinkled up coating. Or oh, there you go. I'm an engineer. <laughs> Pretty much. Can you grab that? It'd be, it's really fucking nasty, though. Oh, okay. Nice. Bye bye. 200 horsepower axle. It's actually lubed up really well. I'm gonna have to look up what the proper lube is to get it. Got it. Ugh. I heard that. <laughs> well, I'm a little, actually, I have a question for you. Why is there lube on the spline? Because the spline doesn't move once it's bolted in. You think anti- I, I have no idea. Anti-seize? I have no idea. Well, you just put axles in your car. Did you lube the splines? Oh, no. <laughs> so, anti-seize? German engineering. Germans like lube before they fuck you. Schlick them in <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no jeez, I don't either. I, it's, uh, I, okay. I mean that that's all I need. I don't I don't know how busy you are, so if you need to if you need to go or do you need any help today? I, or I, actually tomorrow, sorry. You should. I will be in St. Louis tomorrow. So if you if you want help. Okay. Hmm? Maybe possibly. Hmm? Cuz I want that car done so this can get <laughs> Cuz alter your motives. E, e, well, yeah, obviously. Um yeah, well, you're the co-driver. You should also be motivated that we are going to race against Ken Block in March. If we can get it done before... Racing with and racing against are two different things. Okay, whatever. It's still once in a lifetime. Dude, still dude. once in a lifetime. The problem is if we don't get this car in a race before the end of the year, they could ban... v guaranteed. The right. Book. They could ban V8s and then we're fucked. But if we get it in a race and we get... A signature in the logbook then we could file a petition saying we spent 60 grand to build this car and you changed the rules and we finished a race without crashing so we are capable of driving a v8 without getting killed like that's that's their argument is oh well you're gonna get hurt 
It's like, no, we've been racing cars since we could walk. You know, we're not some fucktards who put a V8 in a Camaro and put... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. It's all about safety. If you can prove that it's safe, they're not gonna tell you to take your 60 grand and throw it in the trash. I don't know. I'm gonna be pissed. I'd be really That's pissed. Your life. It would be. Well, the rumor is, is that they could be changing ownership of the series again. Oh, so then. Again, yeah. So then you don't even know who's gonna write the rule book, let alone, you know what I mean? Like, it's a total fucking shit show right now. Probably shouldn't be putting grease on a chair. Somebody's gonna sit down on that chair and have a nice big stain on their ass. <laughs> I'm gonna move this. It's not white. Oh yeah, would you, would you um, want to hold a hundred dollars in your hand? I swear to God, those are probably worth. <laughs> no, yeah, I swear to God, those are probably worth more than they ever should be. And they're metal. I'm pretty sure they're like yeah, metal yeah. inserts. Look at that. Yeah. They got rivets and everything. They paid some little German guy to paint this thing. By hand, Actor. hand paint, probably. You know what's crazy is the line. there was no locking mechanism. I'm amazed they didn't fall off. Mm. Like, oh, there's just like a little, they're little divots, little yeah. divots. Yeah. How does that survive? You know, 30 uh, years. Corrosion. Well, yeah. Oh. I forgot. Well, the wheel's off. We can remove the brake shield. I think, did I mention that before? The brake shields would trap gravel in the caliper? Yeah. Okay. Well, I did not necessarily mention that, but that's kind of obvious. People come in with brake noise and they're like, yeah, there's a rock back in Oh, really? Yeah. Probably fucks the caliper up pretty bad, though. Mm, depending. Sometimes, sometimes not. There's a groove in my brand new fucking driver rear caliper on that truck from going off-roading. Hey, I enjoy off-roading. I enjoy off-roading. It's an acceptable loss. But I hate breaking my shit. I they go hand in hand, James. I'm gonna break your shit. That sounds gay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really gay. Chopping logs. <laughs> that sounded gay. That's not PC, Brandon. You can't disparage an entire. You, you said it. You're you on, can't you're disparage an entire group. You're on oh the no. What? Well, that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're it's not, not putting them on anyway. I know if I was putting it back on, I'd be <laughs> fucked. Yeah, I'd be fucked. <laughs> James, that, that, <laughs> not going back on. That's that, that's German engineering right there. Broken. Broken nuts. <laughs> yeah. How you say virgin in German? How you say what? Virgin. No, are you fucking with me? Good and tight. Good tight. Good and tight. I mean, unless you're fucking an elephant. How would you know what that's the real question? Someone lived inside a zoo recently died because of stress because one of their other died. Grant's farm. Yeah. Yeah, they're all gone. Yeah, that sucks, man. Only one of them died and the other three just disappeared in like a week or two. That's fucked up. Penguins do the same thing though. Do they? Yeah. By law, you have to have like a minimum number of penguins living together because they'll die without family. Really? Yeah. How many is that? It was more than I could afford or I would have a penguin. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was going to say, I would have a fuck. This would be a penguin habitat. Can we afford penguins? I, I would have another air conditioner and it would be, this would be like, we would be playing with penguins right now. That also sounds really fucked up. <laughs> what are we even I feel like doing? I would make way better YouTube content though. What are we doing right now? It would. Uh, taking the other shield off. This. No, I already took it off. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um. Oh, my brother is telling me I should make a uh, I should make like a, a blog for the stuff Aya says when she translates wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that would also yeah, I think that would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, look how God damn. I don't even know what I don't even know what this is. There's shit and shit on the shelf that I don't even know. Look, look at the shelf. look at the difference in the axle though. So this is the new. This is 500 horsepower. Where where did this come from? The ET tuning where you got your car tuned. 
Oh, really? Yeah, they sold me the, the transmission Oops, yes. and the axles. Yeah, go to them if you're local. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they are, but they're expensive. But I guess you could uh, argue it's worth it. Yeah, very expensive. Now, that grease, do you think there's a leak in the axle, or you think they just slop, slop too much grease on it? I have no idea. It looks like they just, where it's located. I don't think they, they would, on yeah, it. I don't think they would sell me a bad axle. I think they know Notice better. Notice how theirs has it too, and it has anti-seize remnants. So, yeah. So anti-seize. That tells me that I could call them and ask. But check this out though. They put a breather yeah, dude, tube yeah. in the should we pull that out? Since we're off-roading. I have no idea. I'm assuming that's because if it'll overheat and blow out the seal. I'm gonna leave it, I guess. Since we're gonna have way more horsepower. I was say, we're be okay, yeah. So look at the difference. <laughs> it might be hard to see on the YouTube video, but I would say that's what, 50% larger? <laughs> Look at that. Look how much fucking... Yeah. Oh, they, they left me the nuts. I guess... Wait. No. They left you the nut. A nut. They left me a nut. Great. Um, are these are... Oh, shit. Are these even the right length? Yeah. Surely they are. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a driver and passenger side. How much you want to bet? Try that one. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that, that kind of scared me. So now, which side is which? <sighs> this was the first one we pulled oh, on the video, and no. it's the rusty one. Notice how this one's noticeably bigger? You think it's aftermarket? This is aftermarket, maybe? Because it's got a little sticker on it? One of the, yeah. Something's not right. Because look how small this is compared to this one. I'm also a little confused as to why there's not a big boot. Well, being an aftermarket bigger axle they probably have something special in there yeah okay so the question is if the axles are two different lengths then this did... this was the first one we pulled which would have been the passenger side did rusty he... rusty is the passenger okay so so this one correlates with that one i think so Maybe. nope it's a little short we're but... gonna we're gonna we'll find out whenever we go to put it in <laughs> This one, okay, this this matches this one. The red devil matches the short guy. The driver side. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I want to do the research on the nuts before I put them in. Why don't you do the research on the axles too? Or you can just look at part numbers. I'll call ET Tuning. They could probably even give me a part number. Or they might even have nuts they could sell me. I mean, they work on these things all the time. Yeah, I saw like, they had like three of them in their fucking lot. Three of these? Yes. Was the red car still there with the crash damage? No, I mean, Aww. I'm not sure, maybe. There was a black one of these. I mean, you would have seen it. It, it was completely badge. totaled. I don't know. No. There, nah. was a, there was a black one that had a turbo badge on it, and it was lowered. And then there was another one that was like, had a big ass GT wing on it. They're like the only people within a day's drive that work on them. Really? Yeah, because when I asked them to quote, to put that strengthening plate in the transaxle, which they unbolt the cap, they send it to a machine shop, and they bolt the cap back on. They wanted $800 to do that. I was like, no, <laughs> no way, <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> but I got a good deal on the tran transaxles, so. How much were them? The axles? Yeah, the axles. I don't remember. They were half of what they were brand new, so really? yeah. So. Were they just doing a power upgrade on something, or what? The, the car, the crashed car. So oh, okay. they literally spent, you know, some guy spent all his money on this brand, you know, bottom up rebuild. And he was doing like five or 600 horsepower turbo. And his first lap, he went into the wall. First lap, where was he? Where was he at? I think he was at Gateway. Really? Yeah. And he fucking walled it. He's alive. Yeah. Lucky, lucky wow. to be alive. But so I got the trans transaxle, which is technically supposed to be able to handle the LS. So how how much was that? That was two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, shit's expensive. And I still had to rebuild the shift linkage because it was all dry rotted. That's the price. If you look online, that's the price. What? How much Vaseline do you buy? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. That's the price. Every single person you try to buy one of those from online 
2,500, 3,000, I saw 3,000 one time for one that was like new, new, like new linkages, new seals. Mm, not paying 3,000. Mm, but I'll pay two for a used piece of shit. That's been walled. It, I mean, yeah, the walled parts got me a little concerned, but they said it was in good working condition, so. I guess you have receipts and you could always. I don't have receipts. My dad paid in cash. I wasn't even there, so I would have got a receipt if it had been me. I see. Yeah. It's a cash deal. You know, my dad's friends with them, so I don't think they'd fuck me. I hope not. Because <laughs> I can guarantee you the whole fucking I don't internet. Know, your dad. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know my. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Well, we're going to need all these tools. Fuck, leave them here. I won't need that. Why even? I think that's it, man. I really don't think I can do anything more to more without those axle nuts, which sucks, because that means I have nothing to do tomorrow. So yeah, I could help you tomorrow. What do you think? Have you seen that yet? I might have seen it. Took that, like maybe version one. three or four tries to get it right. Pretty legit. Yeah, I'm just annoyed that the gauge cluster is not compatible with the, with the wiring. Yeah, so we'll see. Basically, an empty tank will say like 50% on the gauge, so we'll have to right. remember that. <laughs> Can't you just get a like a universal gauge that you can adjust? Yeah, well, but yeah, but then I have to buy another gauge. You're killing me. I already had to buy an oil temperature gauge, so we're going to have a gauge cluster, we're going to have a tuning tablet, and an oil temperature gauge. We don't need more gauges. Throw them up on the dash. Oh my god. We're going to have like 10 fucking oh, gauges. Do you need an airspeed gauge? Oh my god. And if you could, uh, if you could please give me like a, like an air temp gauge. I think, I think the tuning tablet has air temperature. Exterior or intake? Oh my god. I want exterior. I want to know if it's 80 degrees out or 93 degrees out. You'll know when you're sweating to death because there's no be air conditioning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're going to be sweating because I'm driving. Like, holy Probably. shit, I'm letting this guy drive. <sighs> okay. Thanks for helping. I appreciate it. Okay. I could never have done that It'll without the impact. Yeah. 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 Give me a price, cause I mean, if it's if it's a good price, yeah. Because okay. I'm assuming I'm gonna need that that again for uh, probably to deal with the. And it would be really nice to have in the tool package. Yes, for changing wheels. And anything else right. that fucks up right suspension components yeah the three ace isn't as strong as i thought it was gonna be it's three ace i know but everybody's like oh it's the best thing ever and it is it's awesome but it's not you like you can take wheels off with the three ace be fucking happy somebody had those tight like i was like gur, 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 like for like a but minute they came off, they came off exactly. a minute later exactly a minute the later three oh my god that is you're killing for a three ace. that is I, I agree with that now half inch that'll do like semi wheels yeah, which is what those are probably for. You just snapped for sinking, didn't you? No. <laughs> no. What did you do? Why'd you snap? I don't know. Why'd you just I don't know. No clue. That was fucking weird. No clue. <laughs> I'm so fucking <laughs> weird. So random. Alright, anyway. Yeah, let me know if you need help tomorrow, because I'm stuck until I get some we'll axle do. nuts. We'll do. God, that thing's so cool. Did it come with the protective yeah, thingy? You had to buy the separate. Is it really necessary? It's not necessary, but I mean, it is nice in case you drop it or whatever. Well, I mean, I guess if you're in a shop with other people, they might drop it. I sure as hell wouldn't drop it, but... Well, yeah, but you think if this is rolling around in the back of your rally car, I mean, maybe this is probably like... This probably Worth like, it? Yeah. Okay. I get you. It's yeah, probably, I... I don't know how much these are, but these are probably worth spending an extra little bit. Yeah. Because if you buy a $300 bear tool and then... And then you fuck it up. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I don't, do they make that for the 3A set? Mm -hmm. Really? I think, I think they yeah. make sleeves for everything. Huh. Just about Probably everything. worth it. Yeah. Plus it's the black stealth look. <laughs> you know, the big black. The big black. <laughs> <Yeah. Martha. laughs> this is it. It's cool. It's a, it's a nice gun. Yeah, and so I got your, your selections. 
Oh yeah, you do got this. I don't know how the hell you could ever have a safe mode on half inch, but apparently you do. Well, I think it like, I think it. Um, it's auto shut off. Well, it allows it to hit like once or twice a minute. Right. But I don't, I don't, I mean, you'd fucking snap a bolt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I, that, yeah. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Brandon, thank you so much for your help. So I'm going to help you tomorrow if you need it. So, because I want your car done so this can get done. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make October, though. I don't, I don't even have a fuel system. What are you waiting on? The pressure sensor, those fuckers. I, I've emailed them three times now, and I get a different answer each time, and they don't even answer the question, which is, can I use an aftermarket 1 8 NPT fuel sensor that's compatible with the LS harness? And they can't even answer the simple fucking question. What do they say? They say it's an M16 by 1.5. Like, they, they just completely dodge the question. So I'm trying to get onto their support. They have, like, a forum. But every time I try to, like, register for the forum, the website crashes. Oh. So the whole fucking company needs, needs some uh, and who's management the fast. <laughs> I... I and it's got good reviews. It's got way better reviews than the Phytech. What about the Holly? That's three thousand dollars. That's a thousand more dollars. How many reviews does it have? Good, but it's a thousand so you got more this Holly, dollars. Holly fuel pressure regulator. Correct. You're killing me. Okay. You're killing me. You could have the whole Holly thing for a thousand dollars extra. I don't have a thousand dollars extra. And not have a thousand dollar headache. Because your time is worth something. I have like a million dollar headache. Okay, well, have you had over a thousand of that from this? At least, yes. Okay. So my point is validated. Oh, I just want the fucking car to run. So much work. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll be drag racing here by the end of the year, so. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is that even the same class? No, because I'll be on off-road tires, so I'll just be spinning the whole way. Fucking six-gear burnout, like, we well, no, five gears. This car's five. Six good. gears reverse. <laughs> that would not be good. No. Yeah, it's got a sixth as the end of the H pattern. It doesn't have a, you know, so you have to be careful because you can, you can legit hit reverse. If you're not well, careful. Well, your synchros are going to scream. Yeah, but it could still happen. There's no reverse lockout because it's so old. Really? They didn't come up with... They have fucking brake wear indicators, but don't have a reverse lockout. Pretty much. <laughs> I, I know, I know. No more German cars after this. Ugh. Okay. All right. Anyway, see you guys next time.